who doesn't enjoy a juicy steak or a succulent lamb chop. And crispy chicken nuggets are a firm favorite among children around the world. But there is something different about this meat. No animals were killed in the process of bringing it to your table. These products were grown in a laboratory. With about 80 billion animals slaughtered annually for human consumption, a figure the UN Food and Agriculture Organization expects to increase by 70% in the next 30 years, meat alternatives have become increasingly popular. Earlier this month, the Singapore Food Agency gave the green light for chicken bites produced by US firm Eat Just to go on sale. It's a watershed moment for the industry. And it's something Israeli firm Aleph Farms is hoping will go mainstream. The general idea is that we take cells from a cow without uh, slaughtering it. And this uh, small amount of cells serves as a basis for getting more and more cells. And from these cells, we create the different cell types that comprise the muscle cut, which is actually the steak that we are eating. Aleph Farm says it aims to produce meat that is free of antibiotics or steroids and is kinder to the planet. We do see our meat as a replacement to the meat that is produced in factory farming, which is the intensive um, uh, facilities for growing um, cattle and then slaughtering it, packaging it, and then having the whole supply chain that is very complex and that is really dependent on um, global trade is affecting and is affected by climate change. Some surveys suggest more than half of Europeans and two-thirds of Americans will be willing to consume cultured meat. But not everyone is convinced. Some people are concerned about health and safety measures of the sea lab-grown meat as unnatural. Then there is food neophobia, the fear of new foods, which is common among older, more conservative consumers. <laughs> I have my suspicions about lab meat and things like that. I don't know where it comes from, so it's not acceptable. Normally I don't eat meat because uh, of the victims, you know, I don't like seeing animals slaughtered and also the environment and my uh, personal health. Uh, but if it's growing in a lab and no one gets hurt, so why not? I don't eat meat and I won't eat these products. They seem suspicious and I'm not convinced. So while advanced technology allows for the production of lab meat, the hardest part may be convincing consumers to change their eating habits. Mustafa Fatih, OSTR World, Tel Aviv.